Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? I'm here with uh, Carl of Carl Domo Bar. De Dwe Yominda Joba Dai Harbin. Dwe Budwe. Ashuda. All right, well, it's it's freezing out here and I don't have gloves, so uh, let's get inside and then we can talk a little more inside. Hao hao. Shinzai woman kui Ujinchu. Okay. Oh, look at this guy. Need a cowboy. Cowboy. Uh, Hanku. Hanku. Yeah, thank you. Hanku All right, I'm going in. He's He's bringing me down. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Harbin. Welcome to Harbin. Carl Domo doing the Tebow on a mountain. This place also doubles as a KTV. Look at that. They got they got the the screen up there. Oh, we got a silver belly. We got a silver belly. Harbin. Oh, Nisha Harbin Ren. So Harbin Ren they have a lot of grit, right? Like, uh, who knows the translation for grit? Uh, there's a very important lesson here. You don't you, you don't run the most successful bar in Harbin drinking a fucking mug of Baijo every night, all right? So very important lesson to be learned here. What is the theme of your bar? Well, yeah, I mean, for me, I film a lot of like weird stuff for a living, so it does, in a way, make me feel like home. Carl Domo, Nice to meet you. Welcome to Harbin, Carl Domo. You never really understand a man until you walk in his shoes, and me and him have just freaky Friday international relations. I know USA and China have their problems these days, but but not anymore, because you know we have switched places and that we now see eye to eye, so it's all good. Trade war is over. Do we do it? Sure, that yes. Boom, done. What a what what a diplomat. I'm gonna take these ten postcards of you, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cherish them. You know, this is how, this is how you get the brand out. This is the best gift ever. I'm gonna start giving this this presents to all my friends. Just uh, ten postcards got? of myself. Hey, how are you? We are at Harbin train station, about to take a 20-hour train to Beijing. The flights are like two hours. The bullet trains are like seven hours. But bullet trains were sold out, and the flights were like 800 bucks because it's Chinese New Year. It's just a, a mob scene trying to travel. So. Uh, I think they're boarding now. I mean, all I got is a bag filled of sausages and beer. I don't know what type of food they're gonna have on the train, but let's hop on now before we lose it. This is like a Soviet era train. That's why it takes 20 hours.
home sweet home for the next day. This guy's already nice and cozy. You love to see that. digs the bed's comfortable I'm kind of excited because these are like 20 hours where I'm not expected to do a thing uh, there's there's no Wi-Fi here I guess I could knock out a little bit of video editing but I realized like I didn't download a lot of podcasts before this trip and I didn't bring a book so I yeah I guess I don't, I don't really know what I'm gonna do definitely gonna crush some trotas and maybe make some new friends you know I have three three potential new best friends in this room they're probably a little nervous that, that they got stuck with the white dude, but by the end of this trip, we're gonna be fast friends. I just gotta, just gotta move a few things, but, oh, what could, what could I show you? It fits me, it's not like I'm like cramped up like this. These are actually uh, the nicest beds they have. They have soft sleepers and they have hard sleepers. With the soft sleeper i splurged these tickets are like 35 bucks not a not a bad deal seeing that the plane tickets were 800 bucks all right well uh i need a nap i feel a little sick so i'm gonna get like a two-hour nap and then i'm gonna go out and mingle schmooze check out the digs I'll see you guys later Best part about this train is that you can just, uh, you know, hide under the covers and vape. I couldn't, I couldn't be cranking hoons under the covers. These people would call the cops, but they don't mind a little watermelon mist. We are about hour six or seven into the trip and it's not going well. They don't have a dining cart. So I've been forced to just uh, survive off these sausages I brought. If I can even figure out how to open them. Oh. And pound beers. This is my second sausage. This is my second beer. I have the worst heartburn of my life. But I'm hungry and I'm thirsty. Worst heartburn I think I've, I think I've ever had. I haven't been able to get out of my bed this entire trip. <sighs> Hello. Nida Mingza Shima. Li Kuo. Jiga Junior, Ni Zo Shima. Junior, Zai Da Gong, Shang Ban. Same here. Wo, Wo Ye, Shang Bang. Ni hen shufu? Zai jelly? No. I'm actually pretty comfortable. I just like it's it's the heartburn and I think I have a cold coming on. That's the only reason I'm not comfortable. This bed is great. I've already slept probably four of the seven hours we've been on this thing. sausage. Weyo, weyo. Niao pijo? Alright, oh, oh, yeah, right, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to take like an hour nap, see if I if I feel better. If I do, you can come down here. We can play some drinking games. Okay. Hmm. How do you say cards in Chinese? <laughs> Dog. 
着了。嗯，啊，对啊。I slept almost the whole time. Only got up to go to the bathroom twice. But I was on that thing for so long that I got sick, went to bed, woke up feeling better. Now I'm in Beijing. So even though it was 20 hours, it felt like it was probably six. So one thing I should have thought about: we got to Beijing at 3:30 a.m. in the morning. Don't have a hotel. Luckily, this lady pulled up, and she's like, "I can find you one." So we're hopping in this little box. And we're going to a hotel that supposedly has rooms. I think we're about to just get brutally scammed. No, no, no. Where are you from, friend? Ah, we're from China. Um, good. China is big. 4 a.m. and don't have anything pre-booked. I think we're staying in a converted conference room, as there is zero bathroom in this place. Yeah, spacious though, very spacious. All right, we need to get out of this place and find like an Airbnb or something because this won't work long term. We are now in a car for ants. <laughs> a little bit of a tight squeeze. This is cozy though. I just wouldn't want to be in this thing for longer than 15 minutes. I mean, I think, I think my neck would get sore. Yeah. After a quick pit stop in Beijing, where I swam in a frozen lake, smashed a bunch of household appliances, and saw some mini landmarks, I am now on my way back home to Shanghai. This time on a bullet train that is only going to take six hours, as opposed to my last train, which took 20. And the funny thing is that they're covering around the same distance. It's just that this one's going like 303 kilometers an hour. That's what it says up there. Okay, so I thought I was in first class, but it turns out there's like a first first class, a premium class, if you will. Let's check it out. This is a, a far cry from that sleeper train. Do these recline? Yeah. Oh wow. The Beijing to Shanghai route is not known for being scenic, as you、uh, can see out the window. It's pretty much nothing. Oh, these are straight-up beds, and then you got your little reading lamp here. This is nice, just whipping, whipping through the Chinese countryside at 305 kilometers an hour. This train covers the distance of like Boston to North Carolina in five hours. When I take a train from Boston to Washington D.C. back in the U.S. just on Amtrak, that takes 10 hours. Just to give you an idea of how fast these things go, and like the U.S. just isn't really hopping on the bullet train wagon.、Um, they're finally going to build a bullet train between Los Angeles and San Fran, but it won't be done till 2026, and it's going to cost like 25 billion dollars. That's insane. Oh wow, we got some power plants over there. All right, back to 
Back to slumming it in first class.